Hi, welcome back for the QuantLab session. Today we're going to look at using QuantLab as a tool to do some statistical analysis. Um, specifically, if uh, you're reading this document, the new uh, FRTB uh, minimum capital requirements for market risk that just got out. Um, and if you have gotten to the part at uh, around page 93, uh, where we have the back testing, uh, we can see that we will uh, need to have both some um, uh, Spearman correlation test, and we also need a Kolmogorov Smirnov test. And if we pass both of those, then we know that our trading desk is uh, eligible for internal modeling. So uh, say that we have uh, already passed our uh, back testing. Uh, we have uh, checked it and to see that on, on a bank level we have three exceptions uh, uh, for, for the last 250 days and we're all happy with that. Then we need to go on to modeling uh, the PL attribution test. And what is that? Uh, well, that's comparing uh, the trading PL, the hypothetical PL of the actual trading book, and comparing that to the risk theoretical PL coming from the risk system. And, and the idea here is to uh, ensure that we have aligned our uh, risk factors and the modeling to see that we can explain the PLs that we actually report. Uh, with the risk system that we calculate the market risk with. So uh, if we load the last 250 days uh, and we get the PLs for each and every day from both sets of systems, so we have the uh, hypothetical PL and we have the risk theoretical PL side by side um, loaded into the, to the system, and then we can view. Uh, to see that we have both and we see that they align but we don't know how perfectly they align. So the first test we need to pass is the Spearman correlation test. And what is that then? Well that's a, a regular correlation but before we do the correlation between the two PLs we need to sort them. So if we sort them from smallest to largest side by side uh, like this and then we just do a simple correlation between the sorted samples. So that would be the Spearman correlation test, the rank correlation. And we can see that we get a 0.94, and we would reject this at below 0.8 correlation. So we can check the documentation to see that everything below 0.8 then uh, we're, we're in the green. So that one's clear then. So what's the Kolmogorov Smirnov test then? Well, that's the second test we need to pass. And, and for that, we compare the two distributions of these empirical distributions. So what, what we actually have, uh, we can plot this here as being the two uh, empirical distributions of the hypothetical PNL and the risk uh, theoretical PNL. So we can see here if if this is the cumulative distribution going from zero to one uh, over the whole distribution. So we can see the red and the green would be the two different empirical samples. And then the the Kolmogorov Smirnov test is actually measuring the greatest distance. Uh, between these two distributions at any point along this cumulative distribution. So uh, this would actually mean measuring the size. It would probably be around here somewhere. The greatest distance between this distribution and this distribution, the maximum level. That would be uh, the test metric. And uh, the rejection level uh, of this test metric, we can, again, for this, this specific... Uh, um, uh, document is 0 0.09 uh, and er everything below that uh, will be in the green and everything above that will 
start entering into the amber zone and above 0.12 it will be in the red zone um, and in the green zone we don't we're then in the clear to use the internal tests so we can see here that the size of, of, of this calculated we get 0.07 and reject is greater than 0.09 so this is then also in the clear so this means that we're passing the test as well so now we could just go further and, and wonder a bit okay what where these outliers come from so why do we have these spikes because obviously we have something that is not aligned uh, between the two systems so we can go back then to the risk system uh, and go to and look at the PL samples to see okay so where's this coming from so we have uh, a big outlier here the biggest sample as on this date uh, after we sort it and then we can see that it's a position type of type equity and then we see that this PL, the positive PL, is coming from a large position in Ericsson. And then we can see, do the similar on the, on the risk factor side. And again, we can see that the positive contribution here is coming from this Ericsson risk factor. Uh, and this was on a date when uh, the stock uh, went from 75 to 88. So this is a huge move that we obviously are not capturing in both uh, systems. So for some reason, our true PL and the risk theoretical PL is probably missing one position uh, when we got this data sent to us. And that's probably why we have these outliers. And uh, now we passed the test, so everything is nice. But uh, if we would have not passed the test, that would probably have been the culprit for, for not passing. Uh, and this is uh, just showing how to use some QuantLab code to uh, do the kolmogorov smirnov test uh, and also the rank correlation. So that's it. Thank you very much.